Hi guys, welcome back to C4C. Previously at C4C, the warning of the staff and the preparing of uh, the windlass and also install all the cleats on the capping rail. Hard work, but at the end I finish. Hi guys, welcome back to Power Plant and the new episode of uh, Restoria Fantastic Alberassi 312. And now is arrived the time to install the chain plate for the backstay that pass through the thick capping rail. A quite delicate uh, operation to make a hole in the capping rail because it's brand new and you can go wrong. So me and Piero will start to do this work. to make the correct hole on the capri rail because I need to install this one and I need to pay a lot of attention because I need I need to make a brand new plate here to cover that can down and this is the hole that I did and this is the original cover that was installed on the chain plate you can see it's not fit very well my new capping rail so I need to make brand new one with a small cure that the follow all the contour of the capi ray. So I need to take some measure and ask to Andrea to make one for me. You have seen the final result, but now I will show you all the work step by step. It is a painstaking work where no errors are allowed, so very calm, I make the holes and check, triple check any single one, because any mistake need to be avoided or you throw away all your capping rail. No way, guys. Also, fan help a lot. I probably one of the best tools that you need to get when you restore a boat. With the help of a cutter, I continued to widen the hole very carefully. Many tests to achieve the final result. Not still not good. Need to wide more. Come on, Gabri. Oh no, still doesn't fit well. Oh, I need to make more wide. After many attempts, finally the chain plate passed through the hole. So now I use a bolt to leave it in position and would like to check the metal plate that cover the chain plate and as you can see it doesn't fit well the new capi rail i need to go to andrea factory and make a brand new one but before that i need to make a very nice and smooth hole because i don't want that the chain plate could make some strange force on the tick and risk to break my capi rail you already know me guys I'm looking for the perfection, the perfect work for the perfect job, so I spent many times to fit my chain plate until I was very satisfied. Thank you. 
It takes me about three hours to prepare the perfect hole for the chine plate and fix any single millimeter of the hole to avoid any stress on the tick. Now I'm quite very, very relaxed because the hole is perfect. The job is done. I need to protect inside here with epoxy resin. And after that I made a new plate because this, I don't like it. I make this plate a little bigger that arrive. It's turned here and arrive here. I put two screw, one here, one here. So I have more protection here. Okay guys, doesn't fit. And now just arrived from Andrea Factory, my friend that worked the stainless steel. This is the brand new cover. I have to make small adjustment and careful adjust the curvature of the stainless steel that follow the tick profile. So you can see the original piece of the uh, capping rail with the stay, with the protection of the stay was square. square. I use this one so I get protection also here. We check now. We need a little more adjustment on the curvature here. And after the adjustment, the cover is perfect. Follow perfectly the contour of the tick. And now I like very well. This is the end. Guys, another thing was planned is make the anchor protection because I need to protect the fiberglass when you lift the anchor. I went to Andrea factory, my old friend that worked with stainless steel, and he made for me a triangle of stainless steel, about three millimeter thick, uh, with the correct shape to install on the bow of Velos. You see the second attempt, the perfect one, because the first one that I did was wrong. Now I'm preparing the hole to fix it on the bow of Helos. I will use some screw and also some uh, sealant. Of course you need to countersink the hole with, on the stainless steel because there are some uh, chips that could ruin your gel coat. So I pass all the oil with the countersink and also made a very deep countersink because the screw need to be flat when they go inside the oil. I make a very deep countersink because the screw must be flat when installed. You can see the bow I lost. Okay, just near the bow roller, I will install the metal plate. For make this um, plate, I make a template with plywood and hot glue, and then make in exact size, in exact height, uh, to protect the bow hellos when I lift the anchor. And of course, before make any hole on the bow, I check three, four, five times. When I make a hole in the boat, I'm always thinking a lot if I need or if I don't need this hole. Another important thing to do before install any single uh, stuff on the gel coat, remember to countersink the holes. If you don't do it, for sure you have a crack on the gel coat. I don't want to have a crack on the gel coat. In this moment, Gianni, from below, uh, looking my plate, say, ah, oh, Gabriel, is not flat. You need to make another hole and put another screw. Uh oh, I need to do. Gianni, check also if the triangle is good installed, but at the end we decide, you can see, to install another screw just where Gianni have the finger. Now I need to make the more hole on the stainless steel triangle. Okay, they all are done and now we start 
to put some sealant on the back of the stainless steel plate and fix forever it. As in the previous boat, when I installed the protection for the anchor with the sealant, I drew three letters and they correspond to the initial of the name of my dad, my uncle and my grandmother. They have always brought me luck. Now they are gone, sadly, but they are always with me in the boat. The time to fix it forever is arrived and we start to install it and put the screw on the fiberglass. I think it will be less for many many times before I take out. Ok guys, the protection of the anchor is installed, so I'm happy, uh, it lasts forever, I hope, and we move on. So In this operation, uh, I had the help of Gigi, the father of Franco, the owner of the Top Tech. Gigi is about 75 years old, 60 of which he spent as a carpenter. He makes about 100 of this cutlery tray and in half an hour he makes the job. That probably I need two days only to thinking about it and after that to make it. Gigi in his laboratory has a lot of thick, so we use a huge piece of thick and we cut the correct size and the correct length all the part of the cutlery box. Gigi decide the thickness of the thick must be one centimeter, so it's very sturdy and stay forever. Gigi has decided with his experience to make five sections, four forks, spoons, knives, spoons, long knives and bottle openers. And now it's time to make the round edge of the cutlery tray. Ok guys, now it's time to refine and sand a little all the piece of teak to get a very smooth finish. Gigi has shown me how to point pencil with the traditional method of carpenters. That's great! It's time to cut exactly in the correct length because now we start to assemble all the cutlery tray. Ok guys, now we have all the pieces. And here you can see the uh, Gigi idea how to make it. Check the correct length. And after that, fix all the pieces together. And you can see the result here is temporary because we need to fix with the screw. Gigi is checking all is ok and prepare the position uh, where we need to drill and after that use some screw to fix uh, the cutlery tray inside the uh, shelves. Gigi is looking for the perfect place to make the hole on the shelf and fix the tray.
We use our iron temporary screw, but when I will come back to Elos, I will change all the screw in stainless steel because I don't want rust. These screw are only to check if all the system fit well the shelves, uh, but nothing more. So guys, finally finished my cutlery tray. What do you think? You like it? Uh, for sure, I will not be able to do like this one. Uh, Gigi making half an hour, what I can do in about four days. So guys, I would like to thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please thumb up and not forget to subscribe to my channel. We see in the next episode because there is a lot, a lot to show you and you will enjoy a lot. So we see in the next episode. Ciao.